Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Sean, and this is your go-to spot for quick bite-sized Unity tutorials. In our last video, we covered basic left and right movement and a basic jump in Unity. Today, we're going to expand on that by adding double jab mechanics to the same character using a simple script. Here's what we'll cover in this tutorial. We'll build on the character movement setup from the last video. We'll walk through a script that handles jumping and double jumping. And finally, we'll test the jump and double jump in a just for smooth gameplay. If you followed the last tutorial, you should already have a player object that can move left and right using the A and D keys and jump with the spacebar. At the moment, not able to double jump as you can see right here, so we're going to make that happen today. Now let's add double jump functionality to the character. We'll be using the same script we used last time, so I'm going to double click on the player movement right here. And so um, we've defined three key elements, which are jump force already here in this script, um, is grounded boolean to make sure that the game knows that the player is actually touching or not touching the ground, and then we need to add a double jump, which tracks the number of jumps, allowing us to limit it to two jumps. So I am going to uh, move on from here. I'm going to go right below the is grounded boolean, and I'm going to write private integer jump count equals zero. Then, um, no need to change the stop method, but in the update, we're going to um, you know, implement a couple of changes. So, first of all, here in the input get key down key code space, we want to change this slightly by adding a bracket right here, is grounded. So, it can only jump um, when you press space and if the ball says that he's grounded or if the jump count is less than two. So if we jump one time, there is still one time to go and we can still jump. When it reaches the number two, it can't jump anymore, allowing the character to jump two times. I need another bracket right here, and uh, that's pretty much it. One more thing here, in the private void collision and the 2D right under the right under is grounded equals true, we need to increase the jump count. And so jump count plus plus, and I'm going to uh, comment that increment <coughs> the jump count for double jump so let's save and also also one more thing right here um oh i just realized that i made a mistake right here this should not go here so i'm going to uh cancel this it should actually go right down here and then under is grounded true this is where actually we want to reset the jump count each time so we are going to write jump count equals zero commenting on that i'll say that this basically uh will allow the character to reset the jump count for the next jump count for less to save nothing else to change right here in this script so, um, breaking down the screen, okay, we have the jump force right here that determines how high the player jumps. Then pressing the spacebar that triggers a jump, but we can check if the player is grounded or has already used up uh, their double jump. The jump count is increased, this jump counter right here is increased um, each time the player jumps, allowing only two jumps before landing. And finally, when the player touches the ground right here, we reset the jump count allowing the player to jump again. So let me close this, let's hit play and uh, let's make sure everything works fine and smooth. I can move right and left, I can jump and oh yeah, there you go, I can double jump. Woohoo! We made it! Uh -huh. Can I try ball jump? No, I can't. Okay, so this means this has worked pretty much. 
to fine tune the jumping, just the jump force in this vector as you want. So you do that by hitting player and then going down to the um, script, okay? And uh, jump force, maybe 10 is too much. I'll put it down to seven. Let's see. Oh, I can't save obviously because I'm in gameplay mode, but uh, yeah, this looks a bit better, okay? Right. Um, well, this is done. Okay, let me try to save these. Seven right here. Now I can save. This is saved. So if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more quick Unity tips. If you have any ideas for future videos, drop them in the comments below. Have a good one!